What's happening, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. This your boy, Hoodie from the Hood, a.k.a. your friend from that big old end. And I got another series for y'all today. I apologize for missing yesterday, man. It was a lot going on. And I'm only human. But I couldn't leave y'all hanging two days in a row. So. Hood stories. I'm going to take y'all back to 2004. <coughs> I ain't gonna. I, I know the statue of limitations is up and all that shit, and you know it don't matter. <laughs> it was 2004. <coughs> I was in a uh, a certain area um, called Oak Park in San Diego. If you're familiar, you know what I'm talking about. And I was with a few of my partners, uh, non affiliates, uh, other Crips. And we was just out being young, mischievous, fucking badass kids. I was 16, fresh out of Campo. And uh, we was walking. Well, first of all, we were sipping NJ. I know, NJ, disgusting as fuck. And we was off that shit. And uh, we was walking around just doing stupid shit. I had, I had just fired on the crackhead at the store. It was a reason why he tried to take my money. Told a nigga go get some, um, some beer out the store. And, uh, yeah, he, he tried to keep the change. He said I owed him some shit. Whatever the fuck. Whatever. I, I got over on him, and then nigga wanted his money back. But, uh, I ended up firing his shit up. It, uh... We was walking down the street. And, uh, for some reason, one of the homies was behind the crowd. And it was, like, ten of us. We was ahead of him. He probably, like shit 50 yards behind us and uh we walking into the apartments and for some reason one of the homies like hey look we turn around and the homie squabbling with these two well with one white boy i guess two white boys was driving and um the homie was like in the street so they kind of like i don't know if they honked at him i don't know what the fuck they did i don't know how we didn't hear it but he started talking shit to the car and the passenger got out the car and started squabbling with the homie. So when the homie said, hey, look, the homie fighting, we turn and we run back. We start beating the shit out of this dude, homie. His uh, his homie is in a driver's seat. He don't get out the car. So the homie walk up, go open his car door, sock the shit out of him and snatch him out. Grand Theft Auto shit, for real. I think, I think San Andreas might have just came out. And if it didn't, for sure, Vice City was out. Snatched the nigga out just like that. He take off running. Uh, we beating the shit out of the other dude. Then he eventually take off running. This is in the middle of the street. Then we jump in the car. When we jump in the car, we take off. The, like, it's me and three other homies. The other homies like, man, y'all go ahead and do y'all thing. So, we own. We got a car now. Niggas don't know what to do. We go get some weed. Go get some more drink. We leave the area because now we mobile. Niggas start going here, going there. Pulling up on bitches. Doing whatever. You feel me? Young nigga shit. And uh, we had pulled up somewhere. And um, when we was leaving, the one time was, was coming like south on the street as we was going north. It's nighttime now. We have been riding around all day. The homie, like, well, they, they, I guess the homie forgot to turn on his lights. You know, we young, we on some faded shit. So they bust a bitch. They get behind us. But then when we turn over on the side street, the, the cop kind of pull up and look at us. But like, he, he, he on the side of us telling us like, turn your lights on. It was like, I don't know if it was highway patrol or whatever. He wasn't even really tripping like the regular police. He was like trying to tell us, but we had our windows rolled up. His window was rolled down. And the homie looked at me. I'm in the passenger seat. He said, what should I do? I said, nigga, hit the gas. <laughs> so cuz hit the gas on him. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna have the homie come on here. I'm gonna call that nigga. He could tell you. He hit the gas. Boom. We on the chase. <coughs> <coughs> we going all through the back streets, all the way up the hill, and all kind of shit. <coughs> and the homie is gassing it on the cop, nigga. Like we got a good distance on this nigga. And it's probably because he was by himself, and it was four of us. Maybe he was hold, like like holding back for backup. I don't know. So we hit a couple corners. <coughs> And then finally, we jump out. We scatter. Boom. I swear, everybody, all all three of the niggas that was in the car with me, follow me. I don't know why I keep saying, nigga, don't follow me. Every fence I hit, these niggas is following me. So, mind you, we had ended up way far up a hill. And we hitting fences, but we going back down the hill. So, every time you hop a fence, the drop is a little deeper because it's a hill, if, if that makes sense. So, uh, hold on, let me put this out. Fucking up my story time, cuz. <clears throat> so, we hitting fences, and we could hear the helicopter coming and all that, and more police. So, uh, we hit this one big ass fence. It was big as fuck. It was like a 20 foot fall. So I come down. Boom. I think I was I was the first person over here because everybody was following me. I instantly feel my ankles like it's pain in my ankles. But my adrenaline, I get back up. I can't make this up. As soon as I stand up, the homie come falling over the fence like 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 day day and next Friday. Except he fall on top of me and knock me back on the ground. And this nigga giggling and shit. I hear the helicopter and the sirens. My motherfucking ankles hurt. I fast forward. I ended up spraining both ankles, but I didn't know at this time. So then the other homies is coming over the fence. So being the homie, get up. We take off. One of the homies gets stuck. He had a, a, a Denver Bronco Bronco jersey on. And he subscribed to my channel. I seen you in the comments. So he gonna confirm. He got stuck on the fence, on the barbed wire fence. So niggas had to help him down. And then once we got him down, we ended up like in this empty lot. Like it was like like an industrial building. Like it had big ass 18 wheelers and shit like that. But they was closed. So we inside of this little business. And uh we end up coming out on the street. We see the helicopter up the hill, and you know what I mean? police is going up there all that so we end up walking um the homie like i said it's 2004 the homie was the first nigga that i knew in our age range with a cell phone so he like i'm finna call my mom so the other two homies keep walking we like bro where y'all going like we finna go on this side street right here and we about to wait they like nah nah we about to keep going so they keep walking them two i stay with the homie I don't know where his mom was at, but within like 10 minutes, she was there. And, and, and from where we was at, from where Oak Park is to where that area is, you would have thought it probably would have took her like 20 minutes. You got to think if she was home, jumping up, getting in the car and then driving to the freeway, then getting on the freeway. I don't know. She got there hella fast. So uh, I ended up he his mom ended up taking me home. And uh, I woke up the next morning and my ankle, both ankles were sprained. I, could, I couldn't put no weight on it. I had to literally crawl around the house. And uh, yeah, but I talked to the homies the next day. They ended up getting into some more drama walking down the street. The part of town they was in, they ran into some niggas and they lucky them niggas didn't do nothing to them. But the only reason why is because one time was so hot and the helicopter was out. That's why nothing happened to them niggas. But they ended up getting uh, free. We ended up all getting away and linking up a day or two later talking about that shit. But that's just shit that you can go through in the hood, just out here being in, in the streets and running around with motherfuckers and, you know, just being outside. You know, how about that? But, uh, yeah, man, that was just funny. It was some real GTA San Andreas fucking vice city type shit and it wasn't planned it literally just happened and we had a blast that day and it was even better because nobody went to jail but yeah that's my hood story y'all can hit me with some in the comments um shout out to frank lucas uh not lucas lewis my bad i'm high 
Frank Lewis for that YA story. And hopefully you can elaborate. We could get you on the channel one day and you can really tell that as well as many other stories. But this your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old Ian tapping in with y'all one time, man. Keep up the liking, subscribing, sharing. Man, let's get this channel bigger than what it is so I can fuck with y'all on a bigger platform. You understand me? I'm out.